Since I was a child, I've always been attracted towards creating and making, and it started at my parents' house in LA. Through that, it evolved to become a profession. My name is Hasha Lemke. I'm an artist based in Abu Dhabi. What makes Abu Dhabi Abu Dhabi? It has rich history, amazing cultural scene, a lot of beautiful places filled with beautiful people. Kandura is the traditional Arabic dress for men. It's kind of like what people are expected when you're visiting official spaces. It's our dress code. UAE was funded on so many values and one of them is generosity. We kept those values with us. We would like to share whatever we can. There is like a misconception about this part of the world. Yes, we were nomads on camels and in the deserts, like nobody can deny that, but there is like so much that happened since the union of the UAE in 1971. The founder of the UAE, late Sheikh Zayed bin Sultan Al Nahyan, is our father. I actually, on my way to the studio, I pass by his mosque where he is uh, buried there, and it, it just like gives you this kind of like energy to continue. When I can, I say a small prayer in the car and just be grateful to be from here. My studio is in Abu Dhabi, it's an industrial area, Musaffah 37. It used to be a car garage and got converted into like an artist studio. And I think there is like that poetic energy that I'm trying to capture about movement and like mobility. It's super exciting to be part of a scene here where possibilities are accessible and like have a diverse community. The environment is so encouraging and nurturing to artists. I think bringing expertise is very important to push the art scene even more and be at international level. By opening up these major institutions like Louvre Abu Dhabi. Whenever I feel stuck in my studio, I do come and check out the collection that they have here and it's always inspiring to see Warehouse 421 is a unique space here in Abu Dhabi. It opened in 2016. It's a platform for creatives to link up uh, artists, curators, writers. I had the pleasure to work with them twice on two different shows. The first one was a group show, and then I came back with a solo show. From that, it allowed me to even like grow more and participate in a bigger conversation. And I always like refer to that show because it has like a big impact on me and my practice. Here we are in Al Ain Oasis, a place that I grew up coming to visit with my father and it's such a magical space for me. Al Ain in Arabic means the oasis and also the eye. It has like this metaphor of being generous, like an oasis just keeps giving. I often come to Al Ain, especially to Jabal Hafid, at different times, like sunrise and during the day and sunset. And at night, I'm trying to capture the change of the colors. Sometimes I come back and I collect some rocks and study them and those become a body of works that I produce later. Abu Dhabi is like 50 years old. The amount of growth that shaped the past 50 years, I think it's quite impressive. People are trying so hard and working so hard to prove themselves. And it just shows you what is possible in the next future. I think that's what it's exciting. For more exciting travel videos from Lonely Planet, please like and subscribe.